Cecily, I'm trained to make. There's still one more thing I would like if I were to be really comfortable here. The same respect that the Troika gets. Okay, is that supposed to encourage me? Well, learning the Bible needs a pure heart that is really seeking out God. Not an envious heart that just wants to be better than somebody else. I never knew that's what I felt. It's been eating me all this time. I was kind of surprised that Pastor David Harris took a vacation for two weeks. I never knew that pastors were actually entitled to a vacation. I mean, when I was young, I've been raised in a church where the pastor doesn't take a vacation. So I was just really floored when Dr. Martin Lane Peck, Marion's father, preached for like two Sundays at Good News Church. On the last Sunday that he preached, I saw on the bulletin that it was actually quite a special weekend for him because that weekend was his and Mrs. Lane Peck's 25th wedding anniversary. Marion was also there. I guess this is my big chance. Now, if there's one thing I learned about women, that is to be really good friends with their family. I've seen it work not too few times. I tried to talk to Dr. Lane Peck that day, but I got pretty intimidated. I mean, I'm usually cocky, but this guy just gives off the scent of holiness and righteousness that I felt I can't just approach him. Sorry, Mrs. Pastor, I mean, Mrs. Laypack. So, I just went to Mrs. Laypack, which is a much better idea, I guess. If there's one soft spot with hot women, it's with their moms. Happy anniversary, Mrs. Laypack. Oh, hi, Tim. Thanks for remembering. You're welcome. I have a very sharp memory. You can trust me on that. So, Mrs. Laypack, if you don't mind me asking, what has been the secret to having a long and happy marriage? It kind of helps to ask the in-laws by now. I don't think it's a secret at all. It's just putting God first in your life. I was hoping for something more concrete. The night before we got married, we went for a walk down by Lake Shenandoah. We resolved to ourselves, for as long as we live, we would abide by God's laws and that we would model our behaviors and attitudes to it so that we could be a godly example to our child. For example, before we got married, Marlon and I, we used to go to the bars every weekend. And we also watched movies every week. But after we got married, we stopped going to the bars and we toned down on the movies because we wanted to set an example to our daughter, Marion, that time should be well spent we kept Proverbs 22, 6 to heart. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And Marlon, well, he took it upon himself to learn a lot about the Bible. I prayed for him as he sought wisdom in God through the Bible. He grew into a wise man of God who can now also teach other people to do so. That's why I guess, after 25 years, we are still Mr. and Mrs. Laypeck. But, I guess, asking the in-laws was quite a bad idea, though. I just pray that Marion will marry someone just like her father. Someone just like Dr. Laypeck? Certainly, I don't fit the bill. I guess, it's back to the book for me. If I want to be someone worthy of Marion's heart, I guess I have to start becoming like Dr. Martin Laypeck. And it's not about becoming a doctor or anything. It's about becoming really knowledgeable about God's Word so that I can have wisdom and would be able to make the same pact with her when we get married, to model our lives after God's own heart. But for now, 